Happy New Year, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about career and YouTube goals going into 2020. If you're new to the channel, we talk about everything from tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, all that good stuff here on the channel. So if you guys are into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated. Just keep making videos for you guys, creating this content. In this video, I just wanna make a real quick video just to celebrate hitting 100 subscribers officially. And yo, this is so exciting to me because it was one of my goals for 2019 and it happened on the last day of the year. I hit my 100 subscribers, so whoever you were, Thank you so much for making one of my goals come true this year. Um, it's been a great journey with you guys. I've been working on creating better content, making this valuable for you guys, and trying to be more consistent. So I really hope that it's been valuable for y'all this year. I've learned a ton, I've grown a ton this year. So I'm glad that we've got our first 100 subscribers here on the channel. I've also tried to build a lot of community-based stuff this year. So I've tried to drop a free course to help people who aren't technical try to transition into coding or getting into tech and then i also have created a facebook group which we're going to talk about in a little bit where i also have a bunch of free resources that i don't share in the description box and things like that so in this video i just want to show you guys what the career growth strategy is going into 2020 what my focus is going to be as far as coding and then what my plans are for the channel going forward and what you guys can expect in the new year over here i want to show you guys a little layout um that some of my friends and i were all developers and we're all in different places we're all working remotely um on this curriculum that we put together and basically this curriculum is our version of university i mean 2020 for me guys is basically like i am in university i am trying to be locked in i have a curriculum for computer science that I want to study that I want to get into and I've got all my other goals I've got my YouTube goals that I need to study and, and really get up on I've got business goals that I want to hit but in every kind of category or lane there's going to be some sort of learning associated with it in like books readings exercises like all types of things that are gonna that are gonna go into it so I've got all of my goals lined up and I've got like curriculums around all of them and I want to share what my coding curriculum is going to be for 2020 and talk about where we're going from here. So the curriculum that I'm going to be working on with some other developer friends of mine is this one right here. Um, we have a very rough outline. Basically, it breaks down all the major topics that we want to cover. So we've got obviously practical assignments where we want to go do like you know, projects, algorithms, using uh, interview coding challenge websites, all that good stuff. So then next we've got data structures and algorithms. And that's something that, like I said, if you guys have gone and looked at any of my other videos, it's always a recommendation in all my videos to just boost your confidence as a developer, get ready for technical interviews. Coding algorithms, data structures are gonna always be just good practice to stay sharp in to improve as developers so that one definitely is an obvious choice so then we have our languages categories so these are all the the fundamentals behind every object oriented or functional language and we're going to take a deep dive into languages specifically and get more into the the basic basic fundamental concepts of different languages we've got networking stuff because a lot of us have realized that devops and server technology and all these things surround networking concepts and having a really good grasp of networking fundamentals networking and servers obviously anything we use on the internet is going to be related to networking and servers so the more we get comfortable with those concepts the more it'll be easier to learn new tools and um kind of be able to understand and troubleshoot errors when we're facing them especially when we're like deploying stuff so networking is a big one that all three of us have identified that even though we feel good about our software development skills, we know that there's a whole world of things surrounding the software development ecosystem that we need to really get familiar with. And by us not having CS degrees and having gone to college for that, then we need to really, you know, take the time to step back now that we have our jobs and we're all in our respective career paths doing different things in different places we all can come together and share knowledge around what we might not be so strong at. And one of those things is networking. So one of the other things is gonna be operating systems. So again, uh, one of our categories uh, covered, you know, Unix, Linux, and Windows. And get really good with like bash scripting and command lines and terminals. And then we've got databases. 
So these are all of our high level categories, right? For our entire curriculum, our structure. So now we're gonna go down into more depth and we're gonna take a look at some of our resources on how we're gonna spread and break up the curriculum. So in each category, um, you can see further down here, we've got more specific stuff. So we got all the languages that we wanna, we wanna study and things that we're gonna use. So that DevOps Bootcamp, if you guys go check out um, the last video that I made, uh, there's a video on the DevOps Bootcamp, or if you're in the private Facebook group, there's also a link to the DevOps Bootcamp in there as well. So there's a free DevOps Bootcamp by Oregon State University that we're gonna take in conjunction with the curriculum that we're doing. And then these are just all the languages that, you know, all three of us have different goals. So everybody just kind of threw all the languages they wanna, they wanna learn and get better understanding of into this category right here. So that's all this is. And then as we go down, we have books. So for every category, um, so our languages, we have PDF versions of the object oriented thought process, structure and interpretation of computer programs. And so these are all things that doing research online, we found that these are some of the better, more recommended textbooks for computer science programs. These are what students are studying in college a lot of CS degrees and just what a lot of professional software developers with 20 plus years experience. These are the books that they have recommended. So we went and got PDF versions online or in some cases, some of us have actually bought the physical books, but we shared them in the Excel sheet as PDF copies so that everybody can be on the same page. Even though we're all in different places and we're like doing this studying remotely together online, we can still be referencing the same textbooks, reading the same chapters and like breaking everything up. And then over here for databases, we got a book on database concepts, database design, uh, how to design programs. So all these things are different books and free PDF resources that we went online. Like I said, if you do a quick Google search for a CS degree curriculum and the textbooks that come with it, a lot of the stuff is going to be open source or available online for cheap or maybe even free if you guys get the PDF version. But like I said, that's what we went and did. We shared everything in here so that we can all kind of break down, break up our sections of reading. So now if we come down here in the curriculum, you guys can see how we have everything broken down. So we have books broken down into chapters, what chapters we're going to read. This right here is basically just the overall curriculum, the layout, the resources, the format, the courses, if you will, that we're going to be taking and what each lesson is going to really be drilling down into and focusing on. So we have all this in Excel sheet. Now I want to jump over here to a tool called Asana, which I know a lot of people are probably already familiar with, but Asana is just basically uh, Kanban boards or almost like a Trello board to do board, uh, to do lists, task, collaborative board, whatever you guys want to call it, however you guys refer to it. It's just a board where we can create things need to be done and items and we can drag things and assign people tasks and we can just collaborate very easily. We can clone different boards and we can adjust them for each of our own individual curriculum. So like I said, there's three developers who are all remotely working on this curriculum in three different places, myself included. So we have all taken this general board and made our own clones of them. And then we've tweaked the board based on what we want to learn or start understanding better for our own jobs and our own career advancement so everyone's board has the same concepts on the same days but the resources and the materials that we study the notes that we take are going to be different based on each person and what where we are with our understanding of that concept and what we need to do for our jobs and what we want to do for our career growth so we're going to be studying the same concepts on the same days, but we're going to be studying and using different resources, even though we have an Excel sheet where we can also use the same resources and ping each other and make sure that we're understanding the same content, you know, on the same in the same way and that we're all growing together. So we're going to be using the same resources and also different resources to study the same concepts throughout the week, all throughout 2020. This Asana board is just gonna break down that Excel sheet you guys just saw into our daily Monday through Saturday format and how we're actually structuring our learning. So over here you guys can see that Mondays are gonna be broken down into languages and data structures and algorithms, Mondays and Tuesdays actually. Wednesdays are gonna be our DevOps bootcamp and you guys will be able to see that um, in here inside the networking, um, you know, this is just something that came from the clone project originally so I can move this whole then this whole uh, DevOps stuff into the DevOps tab if I really wanted to, but just for the sake of showing you guys. So inside of our DevOps course, 
we have everything broken into lessons. So lesson one through three, three through four, five through six. And so we can use this pace right here to kind of know where we should be day by day, lesson by lesson, and be able to know where we need to be by the weekend when we all uh, link up to do a recap, which I'll talk about in a second. So Mondays and Tuesdays every week are going to be languages and data structures and algorithms. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays are going to be some combination of the DevOps Bootcamp from Oregon State University, which again, guys, go check out the channel. You can find the video where the link to that resource is there. And then in conjunction with the DevOps Bootcamp, we're going to be doing either networking, operating systems, or database studying in conjunction with the DevOps Bootcamp, which kind of covers a lot of that stuff as well, just in a, in a DevOps-related context. And then on the weekends, on Saturdays, we're going to be doing um, more language-specific uh, learning, testing stuff. Um, projects is, is in there, but we'll be doing projects throughout the entire time. And then every Saturday or Sunday, just every weekend, basically, throughout 2020, we will be getting together on a live stream here on this channel, me and the other developers who are doing this curriculum with me, who are going through this career progression curriculum. We are going to be doing live streams where we share our notes and our resources and we recap what we learned over the course of each week as we follow this curriculum and as we learn and we grow, guys. So the first live stream is going to be this Saturday, January 4th, 2020. And I'm so excited because I really feel like this is going to be weekly motivational inspirational and valuable content for people who are either already in coding or in tech and they just want to learn what steps and what format to take to really level up in and progress their career or people who are again considering going to coding boot camp or just thinking about learning how to code and they want to see what it really looks like what is the real grind look like of having a real developer job and you know trying to improve and get a better job and get raises and get promoted like what you need to know what you need to do what you need to be building what you need to be learning what format you need to learn in and how how do you learn all this stuff so hopefully guys this is something that we wanted to do in order to progress our own careers and like i said um we're really good friends and we put this curriculum together because we believe in ourselves we believe in each other i'm going into my second developer job in just one year of learning how to code and graduating coding boot camp so now i'm just super motivated to share more of my journey my learnings my my path structure whatever i can share to make it more valuable help cut you guys corners save you time here on the channel i know you guys are here to improve and get better so i hope that this will be a weekly resource throughout the whole year that as I'm learning and as I'm improving and getting better with my friends and my team that we can share the experience with you guys and you can ask us questions you can hop on the live stream you can um, maybe even as we start getting further in this we'll we can maybe even package this up and put out the curriculum and the content and the format and all this stuff so that we can share it and other people can have a digestible way of progressing their career once you've gone through coding boot camp got your first job and are ready to get that second third job or just that promotion or that raise whatever you guys want to do hopefully we can help you guys achieve it we can achieve it together on this channel so again happy 2020 y'all thank y'all for watching this video if you're into coding or you're just getting into coding make sure you guys check out the description box below where i'm giving out my free intro to coding boot camp course it's got everything i wish i knew going into my first week of coding boot camp you guys are going to make a front end project and learn the basics of back end, all that good stuff. So it's an incredible course. All it costs is your email address. So check that out in the description box below. First live stream of the career progression curriculum, the remote dev study curriculum. I don't know what we're going to call it exactly yet, but first live stream of this career progression curriculum is going to be Saturday, January 4th. So I'll make sure that I am putting a, an event out there. You guys can see it. You guys can sign up and make sure you're there to watch and touch bases with us and see how this is going. Again, guys, this is Darian with Darian the Dev. I'll see you all in the next video, all right?